What story are you in? Are you actually in a story? Does your character have significance? Are you working on something incredible? Are you in an adventure? Do you know who the other characters are? Do you know who you are within the story? My guess is no, you don't have a story. You read other stories, you watch other stories, but your life is pretty mundane and you feel kind of helpless and hopeless in regards to doing anything about the bigger picture things that we see, Am I right? I know that can come across as a bit harsh. The truth is the truth. You have to be able to look at your life with an accurate interpretation of where you are in order to go where you want to go. And if you don't have a map or methodology to get where you want to go, most likely you are not going to go where you want to go. You're gonna end up somewhere you had no control over. You were a victim of circumstance. You were a victim of fate. You didn't step into your destiny. You didn't design your future and you didn't move out of the old paradigm. Here's your big uh, choice in the world right now. And that's in the present moment, which paradigm do you want to participate in? Independent of your story. Because most people are trapped in the old paradigm. They have no idea that the new paradigm exists. They have no idea of how to get there. They have no, it's outside of conscious awareness that it could even exist for them. And that's because the paradigm is the entire parameters of your thinking system. The possibility and probability of what could occur happens within this paradigm that we're all a part of and we're all thinking within it. It's a conceptual boundary. It is the largest boundary. And to conceptually <clears throat> get to this highest level of abstract thinking, you have to really go to the base duality. You have to go to the foundation of what are the primary choices at the very beginning of thought. Every worldview has their own idea of it. I am proposing this one, just something that we can both agree upon, that the love paradigm is going to the future and the fear paradigm is coming from the past. We all want the love paradigm, but the fear paradigm is having effect upon us all. And we have to redesign the future, but it only happens in the present moment. We only exist in the present moment. So we have to have a time framework that takes into account the present moment, but then adds in all the other cycles of time. <laughs>